In this episode of Horse Shelter Heroes, Doc is out, we have adoptions, Keith is working on a very important project, and um, when Doc is out, he takes some spare parts. You'll definitely want to watch this episode of Horse Shelter Heroes, don't miss a single minute. Well, we're out at another pasture today. We got a nice little resident named Gray out here. We're gonna make sure he's got enough feed for the next couple of weeks. Okay, well the hay bale is not coming off the truck, so resorted just trying to push it off. Oh, oh we're now resorted to scratching our butt on the hay bale. So what is going on? Why can't we get this hay bale off? It's too small. It won't hit the ground anymore. So now we got to back up to this tree, strap the hay bale to the tree, and hopefully it comes off the truck that way. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Now you can't even get it off now. Yeah, got the bale off, but now I gotta get the strap off the tree. Got it off, let's head back to the shelter now. The adopters are here and we're ready to let them in to see the horse that has been selected for them. So this is Dahlia, did you see her online or anything when yes, you I looked? Did. Okay, I did. perfect. We can saddle her up, I can get on her, and okay. then That'll be fine. see how that goes. And, and the only problems we have are just like she has the one eye mm -hmm. and then the lump on her front right, but we've taken multiple, I think three x-rays of it and everything comes up the same. It's just soft tissue, no lameness. Okay. Nothing like that. We have a helmet right there. If you, want, you can try that one on or we have others that if that one doesn't fit. Okay. With gated horses, they don't always canter. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I just don't want to get her, and then in the long no, run, you're good. end up hurting her, you know. And if you want to come in, do you both want to be in her picture, or do you just one of come you, on. or? One, two, three, four, five, they are going to adopt Dahlia. Okay, so here's Dahlia's paperwork. This is Dahlia's um, microchip information. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank y'all. So Dahlia got adopted. She's going to her new home, which is awesome. Um, they do really well together. So I'm excited to see some updates in the future. So today we're gonna start uh, putting the Nelson waters on the other side. Uh, we did the other, uh, that, right side a few months ago we're getting this side done this week uh, starting today thank you <laughs> maddie we were just talking about jesse <laughs> maddie's gonna show you the horses she's newly blind she was blind in her right eye and then just currently went blind in her left eye i believe Cool. It's not the end of the world no. for them. No, they no, can no, be no. just as normal as. I got a blind guy and I started him under saddle and he's my main trail horse. Yeah. They, they can make great horses. Oh, yeah. But I specialize in the blind. Um, I got a soft spot for the ones that can't see. And a lot of folks don't kind of understand it. They think, well, the horse goes blind and that's the end of the road. And it's just not. I know. She's like, let's go, lady. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's super sweet. This is Hickory. He is also one of our fully blind horses. When he first came yeah. in, his he was op it was open about that much, and so we put some stitches in it. Oh, he's that does five. <laughs> Hi, 
He said, lady, I just want to walk very slow. Aren't you a good boy? I just can't believe that nobody's adopted you. Well, we're in the middle of an adoption appointment and look who showed up. I, I thought I'd come interfere or something. <laughs> Right, she's going to adopt Hickory and Lady. <laughs> Yay! Oh, Thank you, ma'am. Look, they are stout little awesome. things, aren't yeah, they? Stout. <gasps> Look at, but oh my it, gosh. Um, this is the one that's blind. And Bless he, it. He, he has to stay with his friend, so it will be See, fun. and I love that you guys are, are realizing yeah, that, because a lot of times yeah. people, they, you know, yeah. rescues, they'll well, split him up. like, well, he's, this, I can see, you know, he's more adoptable, so we're gonna separate him oh, from yeah. his friend. We yeah, want yeah. them to go together. We're together, and yeah. And we have pictures of oh. them in harness pulling away again. Oh! Um, so it would be so neat to get them to a home yeah. where they could still do what they know, but they're safe and, and they're safe and together. together. So think I that. love that. Oh, there's Lady. Well, we'll just take you right off of there. He's got a big old corner horse booty. Flash. There we go, and then we'll put one more sticker. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. No, my experience was great. Um, I'm really, really thrilled that Horse Plus helps the blind horses, um, the bond that you can form with these guys, they require you to be their eyes and there's something really special in that. So I'm really grateful to Horse Plus that they help save the blind horses. Um, and I hope that everybody out there doesn't overlook a horse because of that particular disability. Um, don't miss out on wonderful horses like Hickory and Lady um, due to blindness because you're missing out on a really awesome bond. So thank you Horse Plus. This is Otis. He is the hitty from our September auction. And he has a cloudy eye, so we're just gonna make sure it's nothing too serious. He can still see, it's like he's looking through a crowd. If we've got some stain, we'll put some stain in there. If not, we'll, we'll what we need to do, if we could get somebody to take a real good steel picture of it and put it with his record. We'll see where the bright light is, see where the yeah. glowing is. If that stuck to his cornea, we would be having an active problem, but it's not. He's good. Mm -hmm. So the rest, not the rest of the horses, but a lot of the horses are at the 10 stall, so let's go over there. So he's a Mustang, so I'm just shaving his brand down. So if we draw Coggins or anything, we can always look it up and read what his brand says, find out the year he was born, captured, where he came from. He's not as foundered as you think. There's not much rotation. Mm -hmm. We can make that bigger. We're trying to see if he'd been foundered and if he's got any rotation in his coffin bone. Okay. We don't really know, but the x-ray machine won't work. With this x-ray machine, it throws out a laser so you can get your distance right. So you punch a button, you, punch, you hold the button halfway down to get your sight, let the machine warm up and when the lights come on and everything, then you push it down all the way. That's yeah, hot. it doesn't work unless the lights come on. On some x-ray machine, if the light's out, you can just keep using the x-ray machine. So if we can't do x-rays, what are we, what's your plan? Well, we have about six equine that need to be neutered, and we will do that. We're gonna do something to make the world a better place. Is that your favorite thing to do when you come out? It's one of them. What is your favorite part about coming out here, Doc? Irritating Maddie. <laughs> I don't mind it. She, she says she doesn't mind it, up. so that's fair game. You can have at it, I suppose. Oh man, I think. Is that a bone? That feels like bone. That feels like we need to x ray that. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's like his bones sticking out. Wow. It feels like it's either a bone or real hard fiber scar tissue. It could be from where he got kicked. I want to put a needle in the one up front, but I don't think a needle's going to go in that. We need to get some flush. 
And we probably need to take him outside so okay. we don't have to clean so the barn. We're going outside. <laughs> I could see without glasses, and then after a couple of abscesses and stuff, I go, you know, it's not a bad idea to have something in front of your eyes. Uh, I'm not being gross by putting my finger in there, but you think maybe you ran up on a stob and has a stob in there. So what we're gonna do, when you feel up, up, up in there, the, it's about that thick, the skin is. We've got a lot of scar tissue, and he's bleeding some. We're dousing it with iodine, and iodine should kill any bacteria. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna unroll that some, stuff it up in there, and then leave a tail out and, and pull it out after a couple of days. Okay, so we're gonna stuff it in. Uh, we opened an abscess, we stuffed it with gauze. We're gonna try to get it sterile first and it was bleeding pretty good because that's the fun thing about abscesses is because they're getting fed by blood vessels and you're not sure which ones they're feeding that are feeding it. So you're liable to get some bleeding. So we put a iodine soaked gauze in there. Wednesday when we come out, we'll take the stitches out, pull the gauze out, see how he's doing and start flushing it. See if we can get that to shrink up. So Cowboy is the first one to get gelded today. He's a little spunky, so we wanted to start with him and give Doc a challenge. Cause I got spare parts. So if you see something that you might need, anything you can use. Hey, you got that suture? He's bleeding quite a bit, so we're gonna put some stitches in him. It's been a busy day today, not as busy as we thought it was going to be because the x-ray machine decided it still doesn't want to work. We called the x-ray people the other day. They sent some parts to get it hopefully working, but it didn't work, did it? I agree with them at the first place. You start with the handle, but uh, when it didn't work, we cried and cried and that didn't fix it either. So we're just gonna have to wait to x-ray them some other day. Anyway, so we changed gears and we uh, castrated three, three and a, three and a half. Anyway, and we decided there, we have two skinny ones that we decided to wait on, see if we could get some weight on them. Cause in this winter's coming and we hate to stress them out anymore. Uh, apparently uh, surgery is stressful to animals and humans. And then we'll get the other, these other two guys on um, a weight gaining diet and hopefully they can get gelded before they come out of quarantine. In a couple of weeks, yeah. We'll be ready to rock and roll if they are. Yep. Thank you. Well, you got some fan mail. You got, I got some fan, fan mail. mail. Got Somebody fan. Oh, that's likes amazing. you. Huh. Wait, is this... Oh, you got a letter there and a letter here. Oh wait, where's that from? Oh man, this is pretty neat. This, this November 5th was my birthday. So, um, and she's, you know, this is, came from Australia? Mm -hmm. This is from uh, Deer Doc. I'm so thankful that you're able to help horses, help Horse Plus with these horses. You play a big role in rescuing these horses. Also super happy that you help with other animals. This isn't a super long letter, but just want you to know that we are grateful for you, Jordan. Jordan, I am the luckiest or slash most blessed guy in the world because I have been, I'm 65. Most sane people would have retired or stopped working on large animals at this age, but I still absolutely love my job and I'm the luckiest person on earth. Thank you, Jordan. Happy birthday present from all of us. Oh my goodness. This, this is, they're just trying to keep me moving. So if y'all haven't had sun drops, so uh, this is an unabashed plug for sun drops. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to keep me energized. <laughs> oh, there's nothing in there. I'm sorry. <laughs> James? James from California? From California. Yep, James from California. Well, thank you, James. Just took the sump pump apart to see if we can get it running, and it will not run. So, we're most likely going to have to run into town and get a new sump pump. Some pump, you drop it into a uh, ditch that's full of water or uh, a pool or whatever you want drained. 
and you uh, put it down there and it pumps all the water out. Basically a vacuum, but for yeah. liquid. <laughs> yep, basically. All right. All right, there we go. And then after this is all done, we're gonna uh, run some electric wire down to the last uh, water that I'm gonna be putting in on this line so that during the winter we can hook up, uh, turn the power on and the waters will stay defrosted. We're going up to quarantine to uh, wrap the horse with the abscesses. Her name is Cleo. She is doing really good, so we're gonna start tending to her other foot now that the abscess came out of her left foot. So she's actually super, super sweet now that I've kind of gotten to know her and she was sweet at the auction, but sometimes when they're injured, they want your attention because that's because they're hurting and they need someone to help them. But now that she's starting to feel better, she's, better, she's still super sweet. She always wants to come to you. She wants to come in. Still sore, but getting a lot, lot better. So when Garrick was doing out doing her feet before, when he opened up that abscess, she couldn't even pick up this foot and put weight on that foot. So it's awesome to see the improvement that she's having, being able to pick this foot up now. So I'm gonna use this Epsom salt poultice and I'm gonna put it a lot of places on her cause we don't actually know where the abscess is, but Garrick told us that we should start soaking it and wrap it and try to get some of that abscess out. Or Maddie's gonna end up with some Epsom salt gel I all over her. No, <laughs> then I take some vet wrap. Normally I'll do duct tape, but because we're unwrapping her every day, she's in her stall, she's in a clean environment. Um, I've just been doing the vet wrap for now. After this roll of vet wrap, I'm gonna give her a little break off of that other foot. You, I think you're my favorite from this auction, huh? All right guys, this is Diamond. She came as an owner surrender from Colorado. I guess she was a decent horse. She just hasn't been ridden in a while. I'm just kind of seeing what she knows. She got put on my training list, so. Doesn't really know how to uh, be sent around though. So that's something I'm working on. You're starting a horse for the first time. It's a great way to get them used to seeing you up here. That's a good opportunity for me to put my leg over there, rub her all over her other side or all over her butt. If she wants to leave, that's fine. I got one foot on the fence and one hand on the fence. So I'll stay where I'm at. She can go wherever she wants and I'll just ask her to come back. She operates very so uh, softly. It's, that doesn't take much pressure, especially to get her going back. Watch your head position here. I'm not putting any pressure on this. I'm just kind of backing up towards her, or walking towards her, and she knows what she needs to do. So whoever started this horse did an excellent job. What are you doing? Hi. Hi. Good morning. All right, we got some of the kittens here, and Sarah's gonna take them to Ducks vet office, and we're gonna get these guys neutered and spayed. Heading off to the vet's office. All right, y'all, this is Phoenix. He's a 22 year old gilding, uh, Wakalusa, and he is actually partially deaf and blind. And we're out here. Maddie's gonna take him for a little ride out here around the obstacles, get in the trailer. So we just, here's your driver's licenses. And we'll have you pull in and you can fill this out in here. Uh, just pull in and park right next to this door. They're pretty. They're cute. <laughs> they, they really are. Um, we can bring them inside their little cat area. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. This is a male. Oh yeah, she is. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on there. So we got three cats surrendered today. Uh, we're not quite sure what their breed is, but we'll figure that out. They're about one to two months old. But as you can see, they're really stinking cute. Mm -hmm. 
Some of y'all might remember a few episodes ago, this whole side of the arena was full of hay bales. And so now we're gonna get it all stocked back up. We got a big load here today, so the horses are gonna have plenty to eat. I think he was spoiled his whole life, so. He's a rotten boy. And I think he does better like outside because he weaves in the stall. You can tell he's been spoiled with attention his whole life. Oh my goodness. So a lot of high performance horses, or when they have to travel for long periods of time, it's very prone that horses will, they will get ulcers. So um, the points that you can kind of see where horses might have ulcers that they, you can start seeing discomfort in their face and their body language of when you touch that area. And some of y'all might recognize Chloe from Doc's office. Hello. She always comes out and helps us out every weekend. So. You've adopted from us before, haven't you? I have. I have all of the horses that I have right now are currently adopted from y'all. So I like him. I think he's got great potential. Definitely want to look into him, his discomfort and see if that's something that we can work with at my property and what I've got going on. So um, I'm going to do some thinking on him and see what we can do to make him more comfortable. So Doc is coming out today and we're going up to quarantine to run the horses into the intake barn and we're gonna check them out and see what we need to do with them. You know that saying, live like the gate's open? A lot of these horses don't live like that because the gate is open, but they still don't go through it. <laughs> All right, Keith is out here um, getting the form ready so we can pour concrete. This is going to be the base for the Nelson Waters. So we've got the majority of the Nelson Waters um, in the other pastures but we have not gotten it in this one so that is what he's working on hi guys <laughs> okay watch out insulin. everybody oh hello <laughs> <laughs> putting the form over the base of the Nelson water step on that side When I catch her, I tend I walk up to her shoulder and I like to put the lead rope around her neck. Sometimes she moves off, sometimes she's a little bit better. Today she moved off a little bit. So Joy is a 12-year-old quarter horse mare. She has been here for almost a year. She came in our December 2020 auction. She had an extended quarantine. She didn't come out of quarantine until April of 2021 because of how sick she was. I stand in a position that if she were to come out and kick, that I'm not gonna get hurt. So I'll feel down her leg, just like I did the front feet. And then I'll kind of pick it up. Good girl. And you can see she's getting a little bit more nervous, so I'm raising her anxiety a little bit, but you don't see that explosive reaction like you do in a lot of horses when their anxiety reaches that seven, eight, or nine level. Good girl. It took a couple of tries, but now she kind of came through it on her first try. She stopped. I gave her a little, please come forward. And she said yes and came right into it. And I'm, what I'm doing to also make it easier is I'm coming back towards the herd. If you go that way, all the horses are this way. So I'm going to give her that encouragement to want to go back towards her friends. She takes everything in very, very well. She wants to learn. She wants a job. 
and she's going to make someone a great horse. She, I think she has potential to go through any discipline that someone wants to bring her through. And just cause she is 12, she is coming, she's been here for about a year, so she'll be coming 13. And she's a clean slate for someone wanting to bring a horse along that is already built and doesn't have to worry about their growth plates or anything like that forming while they're waiting to bring that horse along. So she would be a great project for somebody that just wants someone to bond with and she could even make someone a nice little ranch horse. I feel like doing that magic trick where you're pulling out the Keeps car. coming, keeps coming. Well, I always like this place for abscesses because they're running and I always think yeah. about them getting stogged, but that's just, that's just me. Rechecked Rabbi's abscess, we took the drain out, put a new one in, and now we're gonna head up to quarantine to do our Coggins. 22. 22. Looks like his left front swell too. Yeah, that's, and then his hind end's so wobbly and one down, 19 to go. Because we had so many horses that came in on our auction intake day, we waited to do Coggins till two weeks later. So that's why we're doing Coggins now and not when the horses came in. Cassie. Those aren't bad. I'm gonna say about 15? 15. We can even go 22, 23, yeah. Lots and lots of Coggins. He's lame. Um, we need to watch him trot. Oh man, I don't have a hoof knife. Y'all got a hoof knife cord? You say you think you, he's got an abscess duck? Yeah. Well, they are long. They are long. They are long. They're long right now. Mm -hmm. We didn't have enough vaccines um, because there was a vaccine shortage, but they finally came in, so we're gonna go ahead and vaccinate him. This one needs exceed. Let's go 21. Maddie, who is this? Cinnamon. We're trying to vaccinate this little Mustang. And uh, apparently, well, she's doing fine. Oh, okay. We're giving her some antibiotics because she's got a little snotty nose. See, this has exceeded the last four days. So we're gonna see if we can knock it out. What is your opinion on his sway back? Yeah, let's see how bad he looks with weight. He's short coupled. This is Katori. She is one of the sway back paints that we have. We're gonna put some weight on her and do an evaluation and just see how she does. Cinderella. She's yeah. getting her Coggins. And Cinderella. she's doing a very, very good job. Oh, Cinderella, she's starting to get some ulcers on her eyelid and they're all white. And when you see that, you start to get worried about whether it's cancer popping up. So we're gonna keep an eye on her. We'll probably get a sample at a later date and send it off to a lab somewhere, maybe not the state lab. This is Cody. He is getting his Coggins drawn and we'll do a little bit more when he comes out of quarantine, like some x-rays on one of his back legs. Doc, Doc's bringing out the snack. Thank you, Doc. Thank you, Doc. Yeah, we're gonna put this one in this chute. It's pretty scared, pretty, a little crazy. So we don't want it to get hurt or nobody else. 
This is Callista. She needs Coggins and she needs her vaccines as well. And she's just super, super scared. One, three, seven, six. Seeing if I can find a testicle or two. And I'm not finding, do you feel anything? Is it worth like, just lay him down and see if he's actually gelded yeah, or not? there may be another small one on that other side. The problem with cryptorchids, just having one testicle, is they pass that gene on. And you don't know whether that other testicle is just inside the inguinal canal or behind the kidney. So it's a pretty expensive surgery to castrate. What you do is you give them heavy sedation so that when you touch them there, they don't pull it back up. Yeah. I mean. Heavy, heavy. Heavy. His name is Courage and he is the very last one for the night. I think we're done. I'm not sure. We're just here till the job's done. All right, Chloe. We, we got all the paperwork done. Everything we're good. Now we gotta spin blood. She's probably got a couple more hours worth of paperwork. I do, actually. But she can be there and supervise me and my other assistant here, Allison Pennon, working on a kitty's leg. Yeah. Right. We will have fun. Oh yeah, it's gonna so. be great. So you guys are going to be working with Maddie today and looking at Phoenix and then I will be in the office so if you need anything just let me know. So did you look at his profile at all on Petfinder? Perfect. Yeah. He is super duper sweet and he's super gentle like he I haven't had he? any problems with him not being gentle or wanting to be on top oh, of you goodness. or. Oh you're so much more light back than my hair. <laughs> I don't know if Can he come in here with you? Yeah okay. absolutely. She does not a trotter. I take lessons weekly. He came from the August auction, I believe. Okay, yeah, I saw that one. Yeah. Too. But he's been great Aww, ever since he's been here. You are precious. He did come in with all four shoes on, but we pulled them and we haven't noticed I was gonna any ask like you tenderness if he's ever or had... anything like that. Right across the street is a bunch of dogs that'll bark and like come running up to the side of the road and he could care less, never phases him. You think you want to take him home with you? Yeah. 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 They are going to adopt Phoenix. You are? Yay. That is so exciting. <laughs> Me too. If you could fill out his paperwork, just what's in yellow. So we drove five hours today to pick up Phoenix and um, the main reason that I wanted to come get Phoenix was uh, to be a friend to our mayor. She's really lonely right now, but I didn't want to shop. I had been following Horse Plus Humane Society for a while now, and I just felt led to adopt from here, and the experience was awesome. Phoenix got adopted today. I'm so happy he got adopted. He was one of our special needs horses, and they're not always the easiest to place, and I know he's going to go to a great home, that they're going to love him, and he's going to be able to have another horse there that'll help with his special needs, and I'm excited to see their updates.